Now I ain't saying I'm a gold digger, but I ain't messing with no bro guys. You're fired. Get out of here. What's up, guys? Boy, Benny. So, free speech. Very hot topic right now. What are the upper echelons of free speech? What are the limits of free speech? Are there actual legal limits to free speech? And most importantly, what are the consequences if you don't say the right things? Okay, well, for the answers to all of these questions, why not consult the document from whence our free speech rights derive? Here's the First Amendment, ladies and gentlemen. Congress shall make no law respecting establishment of religion, prohibiting free exercise thereof, or abridging freedom of speech. So there you go. That's kind of this first sentence right there. Uh, the establishment of religion clause here is really important because the initial colonies and so many of the initial colonists were there to escape Christian persecution, the, the persecution of their Christian faith. Uh, and that's that's why they say America is a Christian nation, because that those are the original colonists. And they, they came here to freely pa- practice their faith. So that, that was top of mind for many of the people writing uh, the Constitution, Bill of Rights, and so on. Uh, abridging freedom of speech, though, was right next in line. And that seems pretty cut and dry. Like, you're allowed to say whatever you want in this country. Now, there are consequences, however, to some of the things that you say. I, I guess that doesn't uh, absolve you of consequences. This doesn't say that, like, like, no hate speech in America. I guess that's that's the point, right? These aren't like the hate speech rules are flatly unconstitutional, okay? Just on their face. Unconstitutional. You should be allowed to say whatever you want to say. I truly believe that. But just like on this channel, uh, or just like if you walk down the street and you insult people to their faces, eventually you're going to, you know, eventually you're going to call a bodybuilder a naughty name and punch you. Right? That's, that's just reality. Reality will hit hard. If you, uh, I don't know, what's a good, another good example? If you if you threaten the security or safety of like a, a presidential candidate, expect a knock at the door from the Secret Service. Or expect to get arrested. I mean, this does happen to a lot of people. People threaten Donald Trump every single day. And uh, some of those people go to prison. Some of, them, some of them send real threats to Donald Trump. And they say those things. And then they go, and then they get picked up by the Secret Service. They get arrested, put in prison. So there are consequences to to speech, but you can say what you want here, okay? That brings us to a very interesting video by somebody who um, we've seen her content before. Her name is uh, her name's Lily. Lily is uh, here's her, here's her ex account. Uh, Yappin is what she says, and uh, here's her Instagram account. Uh, just one post. It's Lily. And this was the video that we uh, saw from Lily that we said, oh, this is is really funny. All those nerds in high school, like the weird theater kids and the anime people and ugh, you know who I'm talking about, the people we didn't hang out with. So they've grown up now and they're the ones making the laws. They're the Mark Zuckerbergs. They're the Fauci's of the world of nerds. Those dorks that never got laid in high school and they've got a major chip on their shoulder against the normies. That's why you see all these fat ass making laws oh you can be obese and anorexic okay sure they're the ones inventing clown world they're the ones in media they're the actors you wonder why actors are so politically leftist oh right it's because they're loser theater kids they're the theater kids who grew up and now they're telling me and you what to think they're telling me and you what to do and they're making the laws in this country well it's time to stand the up and stop being scared like why are we scared of these people they were massive losers in high school and they're massive losers today it's time to put the mother nerds back in their place stand the up and speak so i gotta tell you uh this is my this is my love language uh having lived in dc for 15 years i i'm, I'm speaking from my personal experience okay you know, i i don't know lily i i don't no, I've just recently come across her. Recently, her, her stuff's been viral and been and been in my feed, so social media feed. Uh, and she did a video where she said the N word, and that's causing quite a quite a ruckus. Uh, but we'll get to that in just a second. Based on this was the video that I think initially went really viral for her. It's the first time that I saw her content, and um, it it was my love language because if you live enough time in Washington D.C., you'll realize that th- she's a hundred percent completely right. She names Fauci there. It's a great example. 
You know, Washington, D.C. is just stocked with people who have chips on their shoulders because they feel like they were dealt a, a short hand in life and they wish to literally take that out on the rest of the country. And, and it shows the policies of this nation. It shows these people are, they're, they're hideous, uh, they're goblin-esque, and they have such low self-esteem and they, they legitimately, in a psychosexual way, get their rocks off on lording over you and having power over the American citizenry that actually make this country work. And they literally think they're better than you because of it. And so there's a ton of truth to that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's move on. The Hodge twins posting this video. This is the first time I saw this video. I love the Hodge twins. Follow them. Um... Hodge twins saying black people are ready to hang this white girl because she said the N-word. Why do we act so weak and fragile? We're ready to burn it all down over a white girl saying our word. Uh, don't agree with that framing. There's no such thing as, what do you mean our word? There's no such thing as our word. There are words that have consequences. I mean, there's language that has consequences in society, but I total, I would I total I love the Hodge twins, but like, our word, this I do not understand. Um, but then we're silent when politicians send $100 billion to foreign countries. I mean, that that's a matter of fact. Um, like, we should focus on real issues, but nonetheless, uh, people love culture war, and they love a, a good cancel, a canceling, and so that's what they've done to Lily for this video. Here's the clip. Everybody I know who's married right now, they're married to broke-ass um, And they don't care. We don't give a about your money. I couldn't care less about your money, okay? So, so she, you know, she used the N-word. Use the N-word. Now, let me uh, take a step back from, <laughs> for the perspective of this show. Um, we don't use the N-word because I think it's very, it would be very bad policy and, and, and stir up uh, major unnecessary controversy, right? Like that's a that's a that's a choice that we make, because while speech is free, it's it's not consequence free, right? Again, you can't threaten the life of the president and not expect a knock from the Secret Service. So this is policy. Well, there's a lot of words we choose to not say on this pro. A lot. That's one on a list of a really long list of let's just call them <laughs> naughty words, the naughty words um, that we just don't. Uh, choose and and you know and, and for for a myriad of different reasons right but you know being grotesquely profane is, is just one of them uh but does this woman lily deserve to be canceled for this well the answer is she was canceled for this uh her tiktok account was taken down um and her employer sent out some letter saying that she'd been uh, fired from her job. And there are a bunch of, you know, people who get off on this kind of stuff. Uh, some some person you've never heard of or don't know. And some clip that who knows, you know, I, I don't I don't know. I don't I don't really know what the what the longer clip was there. Um, but nonetheless, every, there's there's an entire group of people that get off on, you know, making sure that someone's life is destroyed uh like this Wonderful news this morning um that girl who went viral recently for saying the n-word um she just got fired from her job so everybody who saw her tiktok video and they saw her other video where she doubled down and said she didn't really care um somebody went and figured out where she works and once they did it was game over everybody was blowing up this woman's job like to the point where like they blocked calls you can't I remember this girl, you know, the girl that decided that, you know, she's going to tell a story and call everybody her friends were dating some broke ass ninjas. I'm sure you've heard of this lady. It's always this. She posted another. Physiognomy undefeated. The backlash just really made you. There are exceptions to freedom of speech. Like, it doesn't mean, say, if your employer were to see that video and see what. You got it. Okay. Got it. Got it. All right. So, so anyway, um, there's a entire, you know, class of people on the internet that was celebrating this. Lily's response to this 
which have has been mentioned in some of these videos uh, went like this. So a recent video of mine seems to have um, upset members of a certain community, and it this um, all the backlash just really made me you know just really do a deep dive, like do a soul search. And after all that, I still couldn't find a care. You're gonna call us racist. You're gonna call us potential Timothy McVeigh's. Fuck you. War. I. I. So it says, uh, if the First Amendment is intended to protect anything, it's intended to protect offensive speech. If you're not going to offend anybody, you don't need protection, says Larry Flint. This is sort of like a paraphrase of the Founding Fathers, James Madison, I believe. Like, I totally disagree with what you're saying. I'll die for your right to say it. So that's the, you know, that that's obviously the, the point here. So again, you know, I guess... It's like trying, trying, trying our best to like eff effectively, like, like thread the needle here. There is no, there is no, there is no speech. No speech should be illegal here. Yet, um, man, there, there is an entire section of the internet that loves celebrating a uh, a cancellation and loves going through like to random strangers and finding points of disagreement and then destroying and blowing up their lives. So this has been making the rounds. Here's the New York Post. Uh, trad wife sales manager fired after using N-word. Uh, um, and then not apologizing, posting a non-apology video. Uh, videos took off on social media. Uh, she worked as a marketing and sales manager uh, for Rofi of the Carolinas, a home health care company for the elderly and disabled in Wilmington. Oh no, I got fired. Hashtag mob, says Lil. Uh, yeah, okay. So uh, anyway, this is, uh, you know, <laughs> so it is, it is, it is a, an interesting take here from the Hodge twins, who's apparently going to have her on their podcast. So they say, they say they're going to have her on the podcast. So, Look forward to that, actually, quite a bit. Um, the Hodge twins saying, like, we're spending $100 billion in foreign countries on foreign wars. We're, we're literally gutting the future of this nation, and this is what people care about? This, these are the things we're all going to fight about? Okay. Are, are we a serious country? You know, I tend to agree. There's it's so, mu so much little, like, stuff that... There's so many little things that, like, whip people into such an insane frenzy and if if we really really cared about the problems that face this country and like looked at them uh like together because the vast majority of people agree with america first and agree uh with so much about the platform that we represent if we actually communicated and messaged that and then we worked to solve those big issues that are going to affect all of us um i think this would be a better country but we're not a <laughs> we're not a serious people, and so um, it's it's culture war, it's culture war and cancellation forever. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? What are the uh, what are the what are the upper regions and lower regions and middle regions of of free speech? Uh, and you know, should there be any lines at all? Looking forward to the uh, Hodge twins having Lily on their podcast. Kind of tune into that one. It's your boy Benny. Like, share, and subscribe. See ya.